All right, I've been using my machine for a few months here and there. Uh, I need to do a little bit of maintenance. I have a commission piece that I need to start printing out and this machine needs to be cleaned up. So as you see, I just put my greasy, oily, fingerprinty hand onto the PEI plate. So I need to take that off. I need to wash that. I'm going to do maintenance. Maintenance is a huge thing for anything you have. Uh, a, a house. What do you need to do? You need to check out the air filter inside the furnace. A uh, car. You need to change the oil. The grass in your yard. You need to cut it. Regular maintenance. Haircuts. You know? Trimming your nose hairs. It's gonna happen, boys. It's gonna happen. And girls. Yeah. Uh, you need to just keep everything clean and orderly. It's not something to take lightly. Here's some things that you need to look at. First of all, power. Make sure that everything is connected correctly. Your power cord, the power strip or wall outlet that you're using. I'm gonna make sure all the, the cord for the uh, display is working, that all the wires and everything else is perfect on the machine. Ah, shop vac! You need to keep things clean. Like the shop vac itself. The underneath, the plate itself, around the machine. Just clean it off. Just dust it off. That's all you need to do. I'm going to go through this machine now, putting my greasy little hands all over it. I'm going to take my little box of tools. I'm going to make sure that all the wheels, the eccentric nuts, just regular stuff here and there. I've already found by using a machine, the vibration is going to loosen up some of these bolts and nuts. So a simple thing to do, just go around and check them. Doing this periodically is going to help you out in the long run. A lot of people I've heard, you know, they come over and they're like, oh my God, my, the head of my machine is just, is just so wobbly. Well then tighten up the nuts. You got to tighten up the nuts. Just check all the bolts. That's all you have to do. If they're loose, tighten them up. Don't go crazy. You don't need to give them all the ooga doogas. Just give it a little hand crank. Remember, I'll post the video up here. A lot of these tools, Alec, Alan, yeah, da, da, da. Allen key, Torx, whatever you want to call them, little wrenches and stuff like that, they will come with your machine or other accessories that you buy. Go through, uh, this is probably the wrong size, oh my god, right on the first try. I'm just going to go through, make sure that none of them, you know, I'm just barely turning, make sure that none of them are, oh, see, there we go. That was a little loose. That wasn't. Just go through, make sure that they don't move at all. If they move, tighten them. If they don't, don't worry about it. As far as the belts, mine's, eh, it's not really that loose. It's not really that tight or anything. But as far as tightness, I can let it go really loose and that'd be bad. It's going to be slipping on the gears. I just try to get it so my thumb just barely drags over it and it's, it's tight right now. I'll just give it a little bit more quarter of a turn. There we go. Same with this on your gantry. You can't really see it very well or feel it very well, but again, I just kind of drag my finger across it, just across the across it so it's going righty tighty. And there we go. Now it's kind of stopped just by me just going across it. Touch the belt a little bit, and give it about a quarter turn more and as long as you're not slipping the gears aren't slipping the uh the head isn't slipping or anything like that on the belt same with the bed there we go it's simple if you keep everything with your machine clean keep it tidy there we go i'm all set for what i need to do as i said just go through Check out all the maintenance on your machine. It's really not that hard. 
make it make it something that you need to do all the time because the more you do maintenance the longer you can keep a machine i'm frugal i'm cheap i'm on a fixed budget <laughs> but i can go out and buy used machines like these two and the elegoo over here thanks for hanging out come on back if you like